Hi, it's Dustin here, and I want to shoot a quick video for you today. And I want to talk about how to build a buyer's list. So as you know, there's a lot of ways to build a buyer's list. And what I want to do in today's video is just give you a couple quick tips so that you can go ahead and build a buyer's list. Now, the buyer's list is so important because this is how you sell properties very, very fast. In fact, when you're not looking at tax deed sales, you should be spending a little bit of time every single week building your buyer's list. Maybe if you put in 10, 20 minutes every other day, it can really snowball. And next thing you know, you'll have a buyer's list of you know, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. Some of our students have buyer's lists of up to 10,000 people. And when you have a list of 500 plus and you send out an email, this is how you sell properties very quick. So, let me talk about a couple very easy ways to build a buyer's list. So one of the first ways is simply if you go on Craigslist and you look at all the people that are offering properties to rent, these people are investors. So anybody that has, say for example, you go into Craigslist and you go into the for rent section. You see somebody renting a single family home or an apartment building. These are people that are investors. They bought this as an investment property and they want to go ahead and um, rent it out. So what you can do is simply contact them and say, hey, I get properties at very deep discounts. If I were to find a property similar to your two bedroom, one bath, would you be interested in it? Possibly up to 30 to 40% off market value. And they'll either say yes or they'll either say no. And if they say yes, you add them to your buyer's list. So if you message 10 of these even three days a week, your buyer's list is easily going to grow by you know, a good 10 people per week just by doing that. That's uh, going to be around 40 people per month, over 400 per year just from that one avenue. Now, another buyer's list tip is if you go ahead and you go down to the county and you get the list of people that have purchased tax liens or tax deeds. These are cash buyers, okay? And if you get that list, you can simply send them something in the mail or find them on Facebook and message them and say, notice you purchased at the tax deed sale. I have some properties coming up that might be similar. Would you be interested? And they're either going to say yes or no. And even if you get one in three on your list, this is a great way to build your list of cash buyers. Now, the other thing you can do is be making sure to be joining real estate groups on Facebook, making friends with people, going to RIA meetings, all that sort of stuff and doing the typical networking. But what we talked about today is very simple, doesn't really cost anything, and it can be very effective so that when you get that property with the push of a button, you can sell it within an hour or two at, uh, at best case scenario, which happens. In other cases, they might know somebody that might want to buy the property or they'll buy it themselves. So that's today's video, just a quick tip on building a buyer's list. Um, we're going to go ahead, we'll wrap it up here. As you guys know, we do one of the best hands-on training trips at live auctions. Our students actually get properties when we take them on these live training trips. So if you've been on the fence or you feel like you've been struggling a little bit with liens and deeds, just click the link on this video. You can apply and join us on our next live auction trip. It doesn't cost anything to apply and uh, you can see if it's a fit. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next training video. Hi, it's Dustin here, and in today's video, what I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and talk about something that we haven't talked about in a while, and that is land. I wanna talk about the pros and the cons of buying and selling